So, Ari, the topic today is a very important one, mm -hmm. fire alarm communication. Bosch has a solution for fire alarm communications, whether it's for Bosch panels or all other fire alarm brands. Mm -hmm. We have a B465 universal dialer with accessories. And before we get into accessories, mm -hmm. the issue is POTS lines, plain old telephone service. Sure. Kind of difficult these days, um, especially when you need two paths of communication for a fire alarm. Uh, getting two phone lines, even getting one phone line, uh, can be difficult. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about um, the B465 Universal Dialer, like I said, for Bosch panels and any brand of fire alarm panel, because um, you don't need to change out your entire fire alarm system uh, to communicate. You can basically use this um, dialer, uh, which is universal. We got a bunch of accessories for the B465 if you want to use it for fire communication. Um, and this is a great way to migrate from POTS over to uh, digital communication to uh, IP communication and cellular communication without having to swap your entire panel. Um, every fire alarm service tech knows that COM fails are, are increasing and that's because the telcos are moving from copper uh, equipment over to fiber equipment and that's just causing all sorts of problems for uh, traditional alarm communication. But if you want to upgrade your fire alarm panel, that means you've got to pull permits in most cases. Sometimes you've got uh, parts of your fire alarm that were grandfathered in and swapping the panel to uh, a panel that has native IP communication is going to mean having to upgrade parts of your alarm system. It's just a nightmare. Adding a universal dialer is a good way of getting a couple more years out of your existing fire alarm panel. If your fire alarm panel works just fine but only has the ability of communicating out on pots, then this is uh, a creative solution to a very real problem. But you do need to have some accessories. For starters, uh, the B10R uh, enclosure. It's a red enclosure. Uh, a lot of jurisdictions require you to put your fire equipment inside of red enclosures, and even in jurisdictions that don't, a lot of AHAs like to see all your fire equipment in a red enclosure. Uh, the enclosure is going to need to be locked, so we recommend the D101 lock set for it. Uh, the universal dialer comes with an IP port on board for IP communication. Uh, it has a slot for cellular radio, so we use the B444 uh, LTE cellular radio from Bosch. Uh, we have a Verizon version and an AT&T version, so that's the B444-A or the B444-B. Uh, obviously, you're going to need to power this thing, so we use the D1640 transformer, and we put it inside the D8004 uh, transformer enclosure, so you can actually lock it, secure that transformer, and make sure nobody unplugs it by mistake, which is very important to avoid in a life safety situation. The B10R uh, enclosure comes with a knockout for an enunciator, so we use the B46 uh, enunciator. It's a sounder with uh, three LEDs on it. You've got an LED for trouble, an LED for power, and an LED for battery. So you can monitor the dialer itself and make sure that the dialer itself is still functional. Um, most jurisdictions will require that, and every single AHA that I've ever run into would want that as a preference. And then you round that out with your battery. So I like the D126 battery, and that fits very nicely inside the B10R enclosure and of course you want to ground this thing so you, you, you'd use the D167 uh, ground clamp so you just uh, clamp it to a cold water pipe and you get yourself some safety and some assurance that way. Ari, you mentioned an AHJ. For those that are listening in, what's an AHJ? Authority having jurisdiction. So you want to make sure that somebody in your jurisdiction is inspecting this thing and giving it their blessing. You want to make sure that somebody somewhere has signed off on your communication plan because if you have a life safety system, you want to make sure that that life safety system actually is designed to protect life and property. 
uh, fire alarm systems need two paths of communication. Mm -hmm. um, this unit comes with an ethernet connection mm -hmm. and a cellular radio connection, so we cover both paths of communication that way? Both paths of communication, that way you just wire your telco out from your panel into the universal communicator. The universal communicator will pick up the signal, automatically uh, tr uh, convert it to a digital signal no matter what kind of uh, format the communication is in. So it is uh, compatible with a huge number of communication formats and it's auto sensing so you don't have to program it, you don't have to tell the communicator what uh, format the signal's in uh, and it is compatible with a, a huge number of uh, signals including just about every signal format you're ever likely to encounter here in the United States. So this is very valuable information that Ari has provided to us today about mm -hmm. fire alarm communication. I mean, when it comes to life safety, uh, it's pretty important uh, that we get all these things ironed out ahead of time uh, so your panels can communicate properly. Um, if you need further assistance, um, whether you're an end user, a dealer, or a distributor, uh, please don't hesitate to email us. Uh, the address is support at midchess.com. Ari, thanks a lot for all this helpful information on fire alarm communication. It's really an important topic, so thank you. Thanks, Rick.